Hi, my name's Trey Patchings, and this is my complete guide to the online version of BandLab Part 3, how to create a virtual instrument track. At the top left of the browser window, click on Add Track. On the pop-up menu, click on Instruments. At the bottom left of the browser window, click on Instrument. The Instrument pane now opens at the bottom of the browser window. The current instrument is called Grand Piano. To change the instrument to a different instrument, at the left side of the instrument pane, click on Grand Piano. To change the instrument to a violin, click on Strings on the left pop-up menu. Then click on Solo Violin on the right pop-up menu. To play the instrument, click on the keys of the keyboard icon in the middle of the instrument pane. To see the note names of the keys, click on Pitch at the top right of the keyboard icon. To change the octaves of the keys, at the top left of the keyboard icon, click on the minus icon to the left of the word octave to lower the octaves of the keys. and click on the plus icon to the right of the word octave to raise the octave of the keys. To sustain the key you click on, hold down the shift key on your computer's keyboard while you are clicking on the key. The sustain will stop when you stop holding down the shift key on your computer's keyboard. To help you play only the notes that are in the scale of your song, click on the word off above the keyboard icon. Then click on the correct scale from the pop-up menu. My song is in the scale of F major, so I will click on Major Scale. The key scale is now set to C major. To change the key to the left of the scale, click on C. Then click on the correct key on the pop-up menu. My song is in the key scale of F major, so I will click on F. To change the keys back to standard keyboard keys, click on Major Scale. Then click on Off on the pop-up menu. To record the keys, click on the ruler just above the first track, at the point where you want to start your recording so the white vertical track position marker is moved to that point. At the top left of the browser window, click on the three lines. Click on Settings on the pop-up menu. Click on Count In on the pop-up menu and click on two bars if you want an 8-beat counting before your recording starts. Or click on one bar if you want a 4-beat counting. It's worth noting though that there is currently a bug in BandLab, so one bar actually plays 8 beeps instead of 4 and two bars plays 12 beeps instead of eight. 
if you want a beep to play while you are recording, so you can play in time with your song. At the top left of the browser window, click on the metronome icon so it turns blue. Now click on the record icon at the top of the browser window and start playing. When you finish recording, at the top of the browser window, click on the stop icon. To edit the recorded notes, double click on the recorded section on the instrument track. Drag the grey scroll bars to move up and down the grid. Or to move left and right. Click on the zoom in and zoom out icons at the top right of the editor pane to change the grid size. The keyboard icon to the left of the grid shows the pitch key for each grid row. Click on the keyboard icon keys to hear the row note. To move a note, press on a note and drag left or right to move its position in the recording. Drag it up or down to change the key pitch of the note. To change the length of the note, place the mouse cursor at the beginning or end of the note so the cursor turns into a double headed arrow. Then press on the end of the note and drag it left or right. To add a note, double click on a blank area of the grid. To delete a note, double click on the note. When snap is on, drag in a note will automatically place the beginning of the note on the nearest grey line on the editor pane grid. To turn snap off at the top right of the browser window, click on the snap icon so it is no longer blue. To quantize the notes, press on the editor pane grid and drag across the grid so the rectangle that appears is dragged over all the notes you want to quantize and all the notes are highlighted with a white border. At the left side of the editor pane, click on the down arrow to the left of the word quantize and click on one eighth on the pop-up menu. Then click on the word quantize to move the notes to the nearest one eighth position in the editor pane grid. To make the notes sound less robotic, drag across the notes to highlight them. Then at the left side of the editor pane, click on humanize.
Each time you click on Humanize, the notes will be repositioned. To make a note one bar long, click on the note to highlight it. And at the left side of the editor pane, click on Legato. To change the velocity of a note, click on a note so it is highlighted. At the left side of the editor pane, click on the line below the word velocity or drag along the line. To transpose the notes, drag across the notes to highlight them. Then, at the left side of the editor pane, click on plus one to move them up one semitone. Click on minus one to move them down one semitone. Click on plus 12 to move them up an octave. Or click on minus 12 to move them down an octave. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.